Next to It channel. I'm Aishwarya and I am here with a very, very interesting class for all of you. Now today's class is going to be very different from some of the classes that I have taken where today we are going to be playing three brain games that's going to improve our memory power or rather I would say it would help us build our memory power, boost with our focusing and concentration skills, right? Also helps us in problem solving, understanding, analyzing a lot of things and a lot more. Trust me, today's class is going to be very, very exciting. You've just had a very interesting class with Kushbu ma'am where she took you through the Olympiad questions. Now it's time to sit back a little and of course play these games where you will knowingly or unknowingly help build and exercise your brain. Yes, yeah, so I can see that a lot of you are here. I can see Krishnendu, Keshav, Payal, Rishita is here. All right, so I can see Shiva Kumar was the first. Can you please tell me your name so that I know? I think you told me your name, but I missed that. Yes, all right. I can see Alka, Ritika, Mansi, Shraddha, Gungun. I have two Ritikas. Okay, Samyukta, Shravni. All right, very good, everyone. Very good. Yes, Prince is here. Ishita, Arushi, Harsimran, Shivangi. Yes, yeah, Simran, Anik. Oh my God, so many of you are here. All right, very good, very good. So of course, I can see 40 of you are here in the live, but I want this number to go all the way up until 80. Because trust me, today's class is going to be amazing. So quickly tell all your friends, tell, share this link with them, tell them, hey, do you want to try some brain exercises or brain games? Because Ashwara Ma'am has got it. And very quickly, everybody, hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Yes, and very quickly tell me if my audio, my video, and my screen, and what I'm writing on the screen is visible. Gursimran is here. Hello, Gursimran. All right, a lot of you are here. Yes, hi Ankita, hi Arpita, yes, all right. Okay, very good everybody, very, very good. I am amazing, I am excited for today's class because I know that what I have in store for all of you is going to really help you out, yes? So before I get started, very quickly, you do know that this weekend, right, on 18th of September, we have Kushbu ma'am and Ankita ma'am having and hosting a webinar, right, that will help you understand how to start your preparation for JE NEET, especially for class 8, 9 and 10. So I hope that in case if you're in 8th grade and even if you're in 6th and 7th but you are interested to become an engineer or you know that you want to become a doctor and you want to know how to get started, right, then you know that this is how you, you know, start and what are the steps to be taken. And they will be guiding you. You will have a lot of guidance. So please make sure that you get registered for the webinar. The link will be there in the description box. And of course, you know that Anthe is on full-fledged, right? The Akash National Talent Hunt exam, which is happening in November. So of course, next session, immediately after this at 6 p.m., I will be showing you some of the questions that will be coming in uh, Anthe. And of course, you will understand how much they are going to help you in applying your concepts, how they will help you, especially on the long run, right? Yes, Shreshtkant, I can see your name right now, all right? So yes, very quickly, all of you, please make sure that you register for Anthe. No, the class is just starting, but I want you all to be part of it. And in case, if you are wondering, ma'am, should I really register for Anthe? I'll tell you one thing. Come to the class that's happening after this at 6 p.m. and you will know that why it is important to give Anthe. All right? So of course, without wasting any more time, we're going to quickly get started, right? Yes, I can see that a lot of you are asking me, ma'am, are we playing games today? Ajit is new, so welcome Ajit, I'm Aishwarya and today of course I will be doing something very interesting in class. Satish is a new student, welcome Satish. Yes, Samyukta has asked two of your friends to join, amazing, amazing. Hi Shreyasi, hi Ankita, hi Aditya, yes, hi Anshi, Prince is also new, amazing, amazing. So now, of course, for those of you who are going to ask me, ma'am, are we playing games? Yes, we are going to be playing games. And I'll tell you why these games are important for all of you. Now, we know that on a day-to-day -day basis, we do a lot of activities to keep our body healthy, right? Or we do a lot of things, some unknowingly and some knowingly. 
For example, we always tell you, right, we should eat good food, we need to drink water regularly, exercise, have good sleep, right? And of course, all of these things that are there when we practice, we do to keep our body healthy. Now, can you also tell me what other things you do to keep your body healthy? Can you tell me? Yes, very quickly. What all do you do to keep yourself healthy? Yes, all right. Very good. Today, Menti is not here, but we're going to do activities and all the best, Harsimran, for your exams. Hygiene, exercise, cycling, laughing. Shreyasi, that's actually a very, very good thing. Laughing is also said to be, you know, one good medicine that is there. Dancing, very good. Exercise, meditation, wonderful, wonderful. See, these are all things that we do to keep ourselves healthy. And I'll tell you whatever activities you do, whether it's sports, dance, extracurriculars, music, whatever it is, right? These are all good things that will help you. Palak is also here. Hello, Palak. Long time. Yoga. Very good. Very good. So, yeah, these are all different things that we can do to keep ourselves healthy. But have you any, done anything consciously, right? Any activity, any exercise for your brain? Have you ever done that? Now I can see some of you are telling me yoga, yes, yoga also helps with the body, right? Yes, meditation, Anika says meditation, very good. Meditation really helps. So when we talk about meditation, it really helps with focusing, right? Yoga helps to calm your body down, very good. Solving questions in mathematics, yes, Sudoku, very good, very good, yes. So these are all some activities that we can do, right? So let me just put my sweater across. Yeah. Yes, amazing. Card games, memory games, riddles, wonderful. Now, can any of you tell me, why do you have to train your brain? Or why should you do this brain exercise? I mean, how does that even help us? Because you all are giving me some, of, some very, very good answers. Puzzles, crosswords, wonderful, wonderful. Yes? Because it has to relax, okay? Right, why is it important to exercise your brain? To keep it healthy, very good, very good. Because it's refreshing, yes, because it helps in increasing our memory part. Right, it also helps in improving our focusing ability. And as students, you need all of this, right? Yes, and of course, at the same time, you also need to build some cognitive functions. So what do we mean by cognitive functions or to improve cognitive functions like analysis, right? To analyze what is there, to analyze the data, to, you know, especially in maths or in physics, when you have to analyze the question, figure out how to be, the, what is the answer? Yes, simply put, to make us sharp and be active. That is exactly why you will need to exercise your brain. And you are all in this growing phase of life, right? You are all growing. Your brain is also developing, right? And when your brain is growing and developing, it forms certain pathways, right? By which it will understand, okay, this way I'll be able to remember this. So, of course, it is forming pathways. And neural pathways are where our memories live, which is why brain games are important. Now, I want you to focus on this slide, okay? I have all of you focused on this. Yes. Now, very quickly, how many of you realize that so far in the previous slide when I was telling you that our brain, you know, makes memories, it forms pathways. How many of you noticed that there was no image of the brain? How many of you saw that? No, any of you would have pointed that out to me, right, ma'am? You were talking brain so much, right? But there is no brain there. Yes. Some of you noticed, while some of you did not notice, okay? There was no single image, right? Yes, very good, very good. There were only other organs, very good. So now I want you to check your brain and tell me how many images you remember from that slide. You saw it for some amount of time, maximum maybe for, you know, like a few seconds you would have seen it. But how many of you were able to remember what was there? Shreyasi has already started giving me answers. I'm going to write this down, okay? Rib cage was there, there was heart, okay, liver. Then what else? Lungs was there. Very good. What else? Tell me quickly, quickly. Kidneys. All right. There were six images. I need six answers. Digestive system. Okay. I'm going to write all of this down. Whatever you are telling me, I'm going to write it down. Digestive pancreas. Okay. There were some cells. All right. Some cells. 
you guys are telling me pancreas anything else rib cage i did not write rib cage down sorry i did not write rib cage then yes hi geeta dna rbc all right okay rib cage liver lungs kidney rbc elementary canal very good very good so let's check how much you have all answered yes no cells there were no cells there were bones is what you are telling me so let's reveal and see how many you all remember all right so there was a timer but i gave you a little more than that so it's okay so as you can see there was the digestive system very good we had liver whoever told me liver very good there were cells rbcs were there so cells were also there lungs were there very good rib cage whoever told me rib cage good and we had kidneys but for some reason you gave me some extra terms right so here if you see you told me about heart about pancreas bones yes all right okay so now this is a quick snip into what kind of games that we are going to play today and we are going to get started with three games and some bonus rounds that are going to be there right yes all right now one thing to understand and i would say it's a disclaimer for all of you will playing all of these games regularly help me improve my focus my memory my cognitive skills my problem solving skills will it be there will it really improve so a lot of scientific study is being done on this and one thing to understand is that it depends from individual to individual okay so it's important that you understand that just in case right so in case some of it might work for you some of it might not it differs but of course these are small things that we will be playing right and apart from that we will also be i would recommend that you try start playing sudoku you start you playing crosswords that usually come in the newspaper these are all ways of stimulating your brain and actually improving its memory skills of course and also helps with retention and all of that yes all right okay all right everybody so we're going to get started okay very quickly how many of you are excited for this give me a level of excitement in the chat and then we are going to get started yes all right it is varun's birthday happy birthday varun hope you have a wonderful year ahead yes all right very good very good yes samyukta all right let's get started everyone Okay wonderful wonderful super duper excited yes okay now very quickly the first game we're going to play is called as the gibberish game right so what do we mean by gibberish gibberish is something that doesn't really make sense to us right they're not properly formed words they don't really make sense to us yes so basically what you need to do is there will be some random things given to you which are not properly formed words but what you need to do is to guess what word or what phrase it might be yes shreya see that is gibberish language now on screen what you will see is that there is a phrase that does not make any sense right and you will have to keep reading it over and over and over till it starts making sense to you now why this happens is because as you keep reading it over and over you have two hemispheres in your brain they'll start working together closely so that you will be able to figure it out right so tip act of but well q right so you keep reading it keep reading it till it makes sense and it is the best of both worlds yes you have filters on social media app as well and purely it does help you with it but again do not of course make sure that you are you know sort of what do you say using social media at a large extent so let's have a look at the first one yes what do you see on your screen so i'm going to start this again i'm going to give you a little bit of some you know one minute i'm going to start the timer 5 minutes late right so ablegemic indicu okay try doing this over keep reading it ablegemic indicu ablegemic it's a phrase right yes it is going to be a phrase i want all of you to try it it's a commonly used phrase yes ablegemic indicu what do you think it is keep reading it in your mind i'm going to start the timer okay yes everyone keep trying if you are not getting it it's okay but i want you to keep trying yes yes all right okay i can see some answers samyukta has given an answer okay payal has given me an answer 
Not a problem. Yes, Geeta, Samyukta, yes, Shreyasi, Payal, Anshi. Very good, very good. Yes, it is a blessing in disguise. See, now one thing is, if you don't get it at the first go or even the second go, right? Let me tell you, you will definitely get it. You need to get a hang of this game. You need to train your brain now. Okay, this is what it's going to be. Because your brain is so used to reading properly formed sentences, right? So it takes a while for it to read out. Are we ready for the second one? Yes? Very quickly, everybody. We'll move on to the second one. Very good. Very good. Yes. No problem, no problem. Now let's go on to the second one that is there. Yes. So what you're going to see on your screen, whoops. I think I can reveal the answer, but it's okay. Right. So this is what it is. You can try it out. You can see it on your screen. Yeah, I know I revealed the answer for this one. Yeah, I know I did some misclicks and it came. But yeah, beat around the bush. Very good. Yes, very good. This is beat around the bush. This is easier than the one before. I'll tell you why it's getting easier. Because your brain has now gotten an understanding that ma'am is going to do this. And yes, yeah, some of you saw it and you're being honest about it. So well, good. Well, it's okay. Now we'll move on to the third one. Yes? So let's... Third one is very simple. Very simple. Are we ready? Have a look on screen, okay? Yes. Braza ledge. Braza ledge. What is it? Yes, very good, very good. Well done, everyone. Well done. Yes, it is break a leg. And now if you see, you're able to do this under one minute because now you're training your brain by trying to decode what it is. Very good. Yes. Now let's move on to the next one. Yes. Let's have a look at the fourth one in this particular round, right? Yes. What is this one? Very quickly. Well done, everyone. Well done. Let's call it a day, right? So whether it's break a leg, that is good luck, right? Call it a day. It's been a long day now. Let's get done with it, right? Yes. All right. So I can see some of you have just joined. For those of you who have joined, we're playing brain games where we are playing the gibberish game right now, where we train our brain to understand what is this gibberish or the word that doesn't really make sense to us. And we will convert it into something that does make sense. Yes? All right. So now we have one more that is there. Andia tea weather. Andia tea weather. What is it? Yes. Andia tea weather. Oh, I actually gave some of it away. Yes. Very good. Very good. Wonderful, my students. Wonderful. Under the weather. Right. I read water somewhere or maybe it was the way I was thinking. <laughs> yes. Very good. It is under the weather. Yes. So these are simple ways. And see, th these are just five examples that I have for gibberish. But again, you can make so many of it. And as a matter of fact, if I give you a paragraph and if I, you know, interchange W-A-H-T, your brain will immediately read this as W-H-A-T, right? So of course, this tends to happen. Our brain tries to make sense even out of things that do not make sense. Yes, very good, very good. The first one was difficult because you are all trying to figure out what is happening, right? Yes, Aditya is not getting. It's okay, Aditya. See, the point of this exercise is not a competition, right? The point of this exercise is to slowly tell your brain. This is how you train your brain, right? So we aren't replacing letters, yes. But instead, we can mix and match so that you are able to understand. Now, I know some of you must be out there thinking, ma'am, this is so tough. I am not able to understand anything. What are you making us do? It does this mean that, you know, my brain is not working. Is that what it is? Now, I know some of you are thinking and some of you are being very honest about it also. And I really appreciate that. Yes. So for those of you who are thinking this way, right, ma'am, no, this is not happening with me. See, do not worry. That is also something I told you in the beginning of the class, right? 
Many games are there, right? Many, many games are there. Some may work for some people, some may not work for some guys, right? So this might be think this is maybe something you're thinking that ma'am, it's too tough. But of course, you all try, you know, this is how you should all start trying. Yes, I want all of you to tell yourselves that it might be very tough. I might get everything wrong, but I will still be trying it out, right? So I want all of you to have that sort of a mentality for today's class, okay? And don't be disheartened, yes? Very good, very good. I am so proud of all of you. Now the next next game is a very easy game, I would say. It's called the memory game, right? Memory game is very simple, no, as the name suggests. So in memory game, you must remember the images and check how many images you are able to remember correctly, right? Now what happens is that on quickly memorizing and comparing the images, you are challenging your mind, you're challenging your memory, right? And this will also keep helping you update. So especially when it comes to your academics, especially some chapters in biology also, which you have to remember a lot of terms, these kind of things will really come, right? Yes, and this is a very simple game. All of you would have played it at some point, right? So this is going to be very simple. Yes, Adil sir had also taken a session on this earlier. Very good. I know. So this is going to be an easy one, but I request all of you for one thing, okay? I don't want you writing this down anywhere. So I don't want you to write what you see so that later on you'll tell ma'am I remember all these things, okay? I want you to truly be honest with me, truly just look at the screen and try to memorize what is there. Only then it is going to benefit you. Yes? So shall we get started? Alright, please explain the rules once again. Very simple. On your screen behind this big, you know, thing that you see here, no? This block, there are some nine pictures. You need to look at the nine pictures and just try to memorize what is there in those nine pictures. And later on, after this timer gets over, you will tell me that these are the nine things that I saw. You will try to remember. And then I will reveal the answer and we'll see how much you are able to remember. Okay? Very good. So we're going to get started and let's go. Yes, I hope all of you focused on the screen because we did not have a lot of time. Now, can you tell me what are all the things that you saw? I am going to write it down in the side. It is raining. Okay, I am going to put raining slash cloud. I am just going to put both. Alright, there was man, reindeer. Okay, man, reindeer. Yes, there is salt heart. Okay, plant, all right. Yes, I can see some spider. Okay, that is something new. I know it's behind me. I'm going to write it on this side. Spider, plant, broccoli. Yes, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. Mango. Okay, I'm seeing some mango. There's fish. Alright, fish. Mango, fish. Alright, I've written fish. Anything else that you want me to add to this list? Or are we good? No broccoli. Chili. Somebody's telling me chili. Fish I have written. All my students, I've written fish. Mango also I've written. Nothing else to add, no? Plants, reindeer, man, heart, salt bag, fish, mango. Okay, more or less I'm getting the same things. Good to go. Not nothing, this much only. Alright, no broccoli. Okay, somebody's telling me no broccoli. If there's no broccoli, then what do I write? Yes, carrot. I'm getting carrot. Okay. Alright, so no broccoli. Okay, you're saying me no broccoli. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's no broccoli. Fine, I'm going to remove broccoli. Alright. Okay, let's reveal. Let's see what all was there. Very good. Very good. I can see that a lot of you have got this. You have got cloud. Wonderful. So rain and cloud, I'm going to take this. Reindeer. Very good. Man, you've got it. Plant. Spider. Heart. Then there was salt. Fit. Well done, everybody. Well done. Lot of you are able to see between 6 to 8, I can see that all of you, right? I would say around, most of you gave me around 5 to 7 correct answers. So I'm just going to write that. 
most of you gave me 5 to 7 correct answers which is a very very good number so very quickly I want all of you to give a clap for all of yourselves and for your, our students like for all your friends here because you've done a wonderful job right all of you have done a wonderful job yes quick clap for everyone yes a pat on the shoulder yes all right very good very good now after this we're going to jump into one more activity all right yes very good very good now we're going to move on to our next activity which i want to try on your own right so this is not something that we can do but here mainly what happens it's called as the schlute table so this schlute table activity is an activity which you'll have to do individually okay so in this activity, what you do, it is considered to be an efficient trainer, especially for improving your peripheral vision. That means that if I am looking at you straight, on my sides, I can see there's light. I can see that there are some, you know, computers and my, you know, I can see that there is a sanitizer kept next to me, right? So Schlute table is a table where you have numbers between 1 to 25, which are arranged in the table. And the focus number is on 90 or any number which is there in the center. So in this case, we've taken 90. Now, in under the time limit or maybe, you know, with another one or two minutes, what you need to do is you need to find all the numbers in proper order, which means 1, 2, 3, 4, in this order, you need to trace it in the table. Yes? So I'm going to give you one minute. I'm not going to disturb you. I'll move out of the screen. But till the timer gets over, you need to see how many numbers you are able to trace on the table. Okay? So I'm going to repeat the rules again. Numbers between 1 to 25 are scattered in this whole table. And what you need to do is to find out the numbers in proper order. Right? So very quickly, we are going to get started. Take your time. I will not disturb you during this one minute. Yes, all right. So how many till what number were you able to find out? Right? Can you all tell me till what number you were able to find out? Yes, some of you are saying some somebody did not understand. 1, 2, 4, 11, 17. Okay, till 14. So some of you got confused with the activity. So it's okay. I'll just explain this once again. Some of you told till 9, till 15, till 20. Not a problem. Very good, everybody. Very good. So for those of you who got confused with this activity, let me tell you what it is. You need to figure out where the numbers are. So you have 1 here, then you have 2 here. Then from 2, I am also playing at this point, we have 3. Then from 3, you have 4 here. From 4, you have 5, then 5 to 6. So what you are doing now is you are able to spot, right? You are analyzing, yes? So you will be analyzing this and you will be trying to understand. So there are various combinations of this table that we can try out, yes? And of course, on Telegram, I'll give you another kind of clue table which you can play by yourself, right? This always helps with your analyzing skills, where to go, where to go. Yes. So this is the only one that I have right now, right? Because I have only one table, it's a bonus exercise. And I'm going to move on to the last one, okay? Last game for today. Yes, we'll play bingo some other time, okay? Now we're going to move on to the next one, which is again an activity that you can try out by yourself, which is the multicolored text game. Now what is this multicolored text game that is there? Now in this, what you see is you must quickly say the color you see in the word and not the text as it is. Okay, so this is not an easy game. This is going to be a little tricky. So I want all of you to listen to me. Now normally when I say pink color or I say purple color, our brain has already had these assumptions that this is going to be pink color or this is going to be purple color. Or if I say blue, you will of course associate it with this color blue, right? So basically we'll be associating it with a kind of color. Now what we are going to do is we're going to slightly modify it, wherein we'll try to associate it differently. So we'll start with a very easy one. I know some of you are very confused. I'm going to do very simply. We are going to do level one right now where you need to read the word that is there on the screen. Some words will come on the top, okay, like this. There will be boxes, okay, four boxes will come. Now, what you need to do is you need to imagine its color and match the object color 
which means if I put sky here, you need to associate sky to a color and put it back inside with its appropriate color box. Okay, this is a very simple and easy game. Yes, so your time starts. Oops, it's went back. So I'm going to start again. Time starts now. All right. You can tell me what you would match it with, right? Easy, right? It's very easy. So blood with red, okay? So blood with red. You can tell me the answers, everyone. What would you do? Very good. Sunflower with yellow, yes. Grapes is green, all right. Sky is blue. Very good. So let's quickly put it into these boxes. Very simple. So to get an understanding is why we have level 1, okay? Because you need to understand how this game works. Because in level 2 and 3, I'm going to increase the complexity a little bit, okay? So it's going to become slightly tricky, all right? Okay. Now in level 2, what we are going to do is, yes, betraying color game. That's exactly what this is. But with a Baiju's twist, I would say. Now, what we're going to do is you need to match the appropriate text. That means whatever color text is given, right? So, for example, if it is yellow, then you need to match it with the color and the shape, right? So, whatever color is there, irrespective of, irrespective of color and shape, you need to bat match it, yes? So, here as you can see, what do you need to do? You need to match it as per the color. Do not look at the shape or the text. Only based on color and your time starts now. I am not able to see the chat right now. I think the chat has moved. It is based on the color. Do not look at what is there. Do not look at what is the text, right? It's blur right now. I would request you to just make sure that you are, yes, yes. You have completed another 30 more seconds. Take your time. No hurry. Completed, completed. Very good. I have some more time on screen. One minute seems like a very long time. Yes, very good. So I'm going to wind up because a lot of you are telling me that you are done and you have completed. Very good. Very good. Yes. So now I'm going to wind this up. Right. So here basically you need to do it based on text, right? So here if you see we have yellow. All of this has yellow, yellow, yellow written. Now the thing that happens, right? I'm just going to quickly move it. Whenever we say yellow, we associate it with the color yellow. But when we have to find the other words, right, it gets very tricky for us, no? When we think of red, when we think of black, or when we, like I'm seeing pink also, we always have a color associated. For us to th uh, think of this as pink is very tough. Or this as blue, I mean, I'm sorry, this as blue is very tough. Which is why it takes a while. So not tricky, I know. It takes a while, that's it. It takes a little bit of time to match it, okay? Now we'll move to the last level before we wind up, right? You didn't understand the game, Ankita. I hope now it is clear. Are we clear? For those of you who got confused, anybody who got confused with this game telling, ma'am, not my thing. This is not my, uh, you know, not my brain game. Right? How many of you fell this way? But now are we clear? Are we clear with how to match it? Yes. All right. All right. So now we have understood, some of you got confused, but are we now slowly understanding? Yes, clear, very good, easy peasy, wonderful, wonderful. I didn't get the game. So basically, if you have yellow as the letter, you need to match everything, every shape, irrespective of which shape it is in, whichever box or whichever shape has yellow, you need to write it. Yes, that is what you need to do. Now in level 3, it is going to be slightly different, right? That is, you need to match the text color. So inside every box, right, we write yellow. But there is every color to it. Sometimes we write yellow in yellow color. Sometimes we write it in green color, right? So what you need to do is, you need to figure out all the boxes that are filled in yellow color 
all the boxes and how many of them are filled in red color how many are filled in green color yes so basically the text color not the color of the box not the shape of the box right so you need to match text colors irrespective of shape and what is written whether it's blue green my name is written it is okay yes but what you need to do is to match the font colors so have a look on screen so here what i'm focusing on is what is written in this right so blue is written in blue color you need to match that with all that is here now for those of you who are not able to do it during the live you can come back and watch it Pause this video, take some time and then do it by yourself. Hemant is asking me, do you talk in English or Hindi? I talk English in English office. I hope now, now I know all of you will make me talk in Hindi, but I'm very conscious when I talk in Hindi. That's why I'm more comfortable in English. Like I'm very fast when I talk. A lot of you are saying, done, done, done. This is there. Very good, very good. Take your time, I'll move to the side. Yes, very good, very good everyone. It's done. The video is blurred, so I think sometimes it happens. So don't, don't worry. Come back and watch the video and try it out for yourselves, right? Yes, very good. So we're going to wind this up. All right, and we're going to start this again. Very good. So as you can see here, no, the main intent is that where, what, wherever it is written in yellow, whether it is black, whether it is pink, you will still find out the color. Yes. So that is the whole focus. Now, of course, with this, if you see knowingly or unknowingly, you have stimulated your brain. You've learned, you've told your brain some new tricks, right? Yes. Why is it that in every class you are in a hurry? <laughs> Because that will be the next class, no? That's why sometimes I feel like, you feel like I'm in a hurry. I'm not in a hurry. I actually take class very slowly. So guys, here's a bonus round for all of you. I want all of you to write the letters or the words that are marked in green color. Very quickly in the chat. How many of you? So you can see that there are some words which are in green color. Can you tell me, right? What are all the words that you see on screen? Ankita, if you've not understood this, it's okay. Don't worry. Like these are small tricks that are there. All that are in green color. Yes, very good. Very good. Wonderful. I can see purple, orange, yellow, red. That is there. Very good, everyone. Very good. So as you know, the energy of the mind is also essential for life, right? Yes, it is correct. So now, of course, with this, if you see, we've done some very simple brain activities, right? So how many of you enjoyed this class? How many of you truly found this? That it's easy, right? And these are things we can do. Because at home also, if you see, we can do small activities, right? We can play crosswords. Yes, we can have crosswords. We can play Sudoku, right? So we can play all of these things, yes? Very good, very good. Yes, I prefer to talk in English, right? That's the reason. It's easy for me. It's not that easy, but it is interesting. And yes, we are going to be having more and more such sessions. We tried out this simple class just to know that, you know, if you are enjoying such classes, right? So it's important that we understand this. So everybody, quickly, if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button and tell your friends also that, hey, if you want to learn these tricks, if you want to learn ways in which you can improve your memory skills, this is the place to go, right? Yes, Debra... Debra Derta, I hope I've got your name right. Yes, what is my favorite subject after biology? I would say it's chemistry. Yes, and Aditya has got 68 out of 70. Brilliant, brilliant. Yes, very good, very good. So now, of course, everyone, please make sure that you are 
being a part of our telegram channel right because on our telegram channel we have homework poll questions we give you session pdfs we come live on telegram to talk to all of you right so it is important that you all are part of our small community that is there and you know that we've got you covered no matter what right so make sure that you hit that like button share this with your friends and subscribe to our channel and for all of you I am coming live at 6 p.m. again. I mean, 6 p.m. again with some important anti questions. So take 20 minutes break. Take, I mean, 15 to 20 minutes break, and make sure that you drink a lot of water, take rest, come with your notebooks and pen because we're going to be solving some interesting questions together. Yes, everyone. Hoping to see you very, very soon again. Bye, bye, and have a nice day.